Martin Bath. Tuesday. What's the day? 15th. Of August. <laughs> of August. It's the final week. It's the final countdown. Okay. It's the final week. Fortunately, we saved the best week till last. But we do have to leave Glasgow, which is sad. And head north into the Highlands. But we're literally starting the week, literally, physically. The first video this week is starting on a high, with, okay. a, with a high point. What's the high point? <laughs> Highest station in Britain. That's mainly what we're doing today. The least lowest station. <laughs> today, you say it. It's the least lowest station. To the trains. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, if this is Birmingham New Street, you know, this this train would have been dispatched on time, right? <laughs> Delays up here. We are, we are, how many minutes late are we? About 13, something like that. <laughs> hey, hey. Morning. Hello. Tea. <laughs> In a flask. <laughs> so Pete, I've got to ask, you could sum up the Scottish Highlands by train in one sentence. Um, slightly better than Birmingham. <laughs> We've come in on the right hand side. It's not left hand running. Notice that, it's not left hand running. Ard Louis. Oh, Ard Louis. Where are we? We're at Grey and Larrick. What's happening in the tea room? I got two postcards. Is it cute? Yeah. It's got some cool old pictures on the wall. And I took a shot of some, what looked like old handwritten letters about the railway. Yeah. I've got postcards. <laughs> Fantastic little stop. So many things to mention. We're only going to get 15 seconds on the platform. For a start, it's only open during the summer. Uh, it's an old station, it was closed in the 60s, it got reopened in the 80s. The platform was made out of old sleepers. There's no lighting on the, on the halt, it's a little halt. So they can't stop trains here during darkness. So basically, it's a summer only station. It's a gravel platform. Ben Crookan Mountain is nearby, so it's used a lot by ramblers and walkers. Just gonna jump on the platform real quick. Just wanna say a bit on the platform before the curriculum. Thank you. That's it. But what 
what you need to keep an eye out for, Vicky, yep. is that along this section of track, uh, in 2009-10, there was a derailment right about here okay. when a train hit a boulder that had fallen down. Uh, and I don't know whether they were put in before or after, but you have got these what they call avalanche signals yeah, yeah. or stone signals. It's they like they're double semaphore. Okay. And basically, there are wires along the track here that have, so hopefully now, if a boulder comes down the mountain, it hits the wires and that yeah. drops down. So you have what are called these avalanche signals, semaphore signals, which warn drivers if there's a boulder or rock on the line. And I think that's unique oh, to double. this. Oh, double. Like a B. Like a double, like yeah, a B. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. See it? yeah. Do you want to put your camera over? I do want to put my camera over. So, Falls of Kraken? I'm really struggling with that. <laughs> Also has another interesting fact, under Ben Kraken uh, and the lock itself uh, is what they call the Hollow Mountain. There is a power station a kilometre underground. You can go on tours of the power station. They have a visitor centre as well. It looks very cool. Open, not Oban. Open. Half an hour. is really busy. <laughs> I think it's because it's raining. Um, I'm going to head into town. I'd better get the rain gear on. The town of Oban is literally... It's, it's, it's not even any distance. It's r the station takes you right into the heart of the town. You've got the harbour, you've got shopping, you've got restaurants. It is really, really scenic. Today it's a little bit grey and rainy, but you can imagine on a sun, sunlit day how stunning the harbour would be. One of the main attractions is McCaig's Tower, which was built in the 1800s by the McCaig family. Um, as a kind of focal point for the town and it was a way uh, to support local people to get jobs uh, and to be employed. Uh, there are gardens and, and a stunning view from the tower as well. Unfortunately, I don't think we have time to climb up the hill. Mally. Extremely, extremely, extremely cute. Two. Wonderful. Look at it. It's so good. Is that you? There are several people that are more prepared for walking than we are. Yeah. Some guys in there with some sunny nights. We're not at all. Orienteering maps. We're not at all ready. Sticks. What we are doing though is uh, making a walking connection between two stations. So rather than go back to Pooh and Larry and changing for the, the leg line there, we're going to walk between Tindrum Lower and Upper Tindrum. Or is it Lower Tindrum and Tindrum Upper? It's Tindrum Lower Tindrum and Upper Tindrum. <laughs> I won't open till it lights up. What? <laughs> what? I don't. I, I physically don't know how to express. Yeah. How amazing the scenery is, and so I just find myself laughing because it's like. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculously... What, the, the scenery over there? Beautiful. Not the crossing, <laughs> which is obviously beautiful. <laughs> but if you just wander a little bit this way and, and veer slightly to your right, you can it see... Just... Look, look at the low cloud, like this coming out of the trees. This is the lower station. Oh, yikes. Do you want to walk up the hill to the upper station? I do. Let's do that. Welcome to Upper Tyndrum, which Tindrum. also Tyndrum, Tindrum? Tyndrum, which also has the Caledonian Sleeper logo, uh -huh. which is nice to see.
<laughs> I've definitely been to worse stations. It's quite nice. And very quiet. So there's no dot metrics indicator at this station. <laughs> there's, also, there's also no 3G, there's no 2G. I've got GPRS, no 4G, no Wi-Fi, nothing. You cut off, so you don't know whether the train is coming is or cancelled. Oh, I didn't even see a help button. But what did you just hear in the distance? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. We didn't plan that, <laughs> that just happened. That is the portion of the train that's going back to Oban. So the train is at Crianlarich down there where it splits and the Oban portion goes first and then the Fort William Malag section comes next. So we know, that's how we know that the train is at Crianlarich just five minutes down the line. So it'll be here soon. That was brilliant. He's early. It. It's ripped. No, I was going to stand on the platform, but not, not when it's hurling it down. I don't think anyone's getting off. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> it's really raining. Bridge of Orphy. Look, Bernard, it's still raining. There's a tea room. We've got no time to stop. There's a man with a dog. It, it's delightful. <laughs> Made it to Gruer. It's a small, teeny lifetime ambition. Thanks to Stuart. It's busy, yeah. man. It is busy. Yeah, All right. really nice to see you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Have a good one. We made it to Gruer. two reasons why you'd stay at Karua. One, because you're a train enthusiast, like ourselves. Or two, because you come for a bit of walking and hiking and rambling. I don't know, is that the right word? This is Callum and this is Sophie. Are you guys, are you hikers? I'm trying to shake your hand, Callum. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you consider yourself uh, hikers? What do you consider yourself? Uh, walkers. Walkers, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Maybe low-core hikers. Okay, now yeah. we bumped into you. You've rocked up on the train. Uh -huh. You were on the same train as us? Yeah, I believe so. I think I saw think you when you got on, actually. Yeah. And you're heading out where? <laughs> Where are you going from here? This direction. <laughs> following this, is it like a Land Rover track that we're going to follow? Yeah, so on the I'm map it's actually. a slightly bolder of the tracks, which means it'll be easier to follow. You said to me that you're staying tonight in a word which uh, I'd never heard before. What really? was that? A bothy. Could you just look at the camera? Just say, could you spell that for me? Bothy. B-O-T-H-Y. <laughs> could you tell me what a bothy is, please? A bothy is an old... The, 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 I suppose... When would they come? Uh, they'll just be houses that you can stay in. I think there's they're all over the highlands. Yeah. And you're literally just going to head out west, yep. into right. towards the mountains, the see what you find, yeah. and just stay at a random boffy tonight. Hopefully That's find that. the boffy, Hope, yeah. And you've got, a, you've got a stove to cook dinner? We do, we've got the stove and we've got some uh, kindling fire starters. So you get a wee, a wee roaring got fire. Food as well. And you're going to put <laughs> a pass back through <laughs> here in the morning. <laughs> You're on a path back to here in the morning. We will do to, to, get, get, the, to get the train back. Which train are you getting? Um, the five, uh, six o'clock? The six. Oh, so you're going to be out all day tomorrow walking? Ah, yeah. early start. That's the plan. We wow. have to do like a wee circle um, and then find our way back here wow. before six because if we miss the 6.30, we're getting in pretty late. That's amazing. Guys, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank, thank you, Callum. Right. Thank you, Sophie. Nice to meet you. Good luck. What we need to do now is get a dramatic shot of them walking off into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> as, as the rain cloud comes in. So I thought we were staying in that building over there. <laughs> this is not the case. We walk around and you're act we, you, we're actually staying in the old signal box. So this, this is our room in here. Are we letting them in? Well, just for a second. <laughs> This is where we're staying tonight, with all our stuff. Hot water bottles. They're, they do have hot water bottles, but the, uh, come with me. The, the thing you need to see, really, is actually down here. 
up here. And this is inside the old signal box. So you can see clearly here, you're in the cabin where there would have been the levers and whatnot, and it's now been turned into like a little attic den, a little snug, where they said we can hang out later uh, with views in all directions, 360 degree views, and it's nothing short of stunning. It's absolutely nothing short of stunning. It's the best station ever. <laughs> but I kind of knew it was going to be. Come and stay here. It's awesome.